Greetings, actives. Welcome to the January Founders Zoom. Um, as always, uh, 15th of the month, David and I are excited to talk to all of you and share some of the high points from last month and a little bit about what we have coming around the corner here in January, the first month of 2024. Happy New Year's, everybody. Hope you had a great Christmas, great holiday season. Um, it's great to be in this new year. Um, David, I don't know about you, but the last few days, I've been able to jump on some Zooms and people are saying, hey, you know, how do you feel now it's a new year? And I've looked in the mirror and I'm like, I feel a lot like I did um, a couple of weeks ago while it was still 2023. I don't think anything's changed. I'm not sure that we're actually in a new year. Um, I don't know. It feels exactly the same as it did in, in December and in November, but I guess we are in a new year. And um, let's talk about that. Um, uh, I've been talking to my kids about goals and things that maybe we want to improve on. So, um, you know, maybe we'll talk a little bit about that today. How how was your December? And take it, well, take it my away. December was like uh, was like your December, an active December. It was uh, exciting. It was uh, filled with family and friends, and uh, a lot of good news about about lots of things. You know, it's interesting. I um, was were, was with a group of people not long ago, and and they told me, and they were telling everyone about how bad 2023 had been. Just been horrible, and uh, you know, and and uh, the um, the uh, the Latin term for for bad year is honest horribilis, horrible year. And for 2020, and I felt bad listening to these people who had had some pretty traumatic things happen. Mm -hmm. Because to me, 2023 was amazing. And um, and so when it got my turn to talk, I'm like, wow, I better watch out because um, we had such a good year. I better watch out as to what's going to happen this year, next year. But I really don't feel that. I actually feel that as wonderful from an active standpoint, 2023 was, as they say, you ain't seen nothing yet. And I think 2024 is going to continue to see us um, establish new records. Um, but rather than focusing on the result, uh, one of my things I want to really focus on and encourage everyone to do is to not only set goals, but to establish, you know, talk, think about how they're really going to achieve those. What's the process? Yeah. And then focus on the process. Um, and as we focus on the process, the results kind of take care of themselves. And and that's what I'm excited about. And so it was uh, it was a fun. It, it, you know, you're right. It is hard to believe it went by so fast. And yeah. it's a good thing we don't write checks anymore because I would not be writing 2024. I'd actually, right. I'd probably be writing like 2019 or something. Right. Um, <laughs> but uh, but it goes by fast. 2024 is here upon us with a lot of exciting things ahead. Yeah. Well, um, a couple of, well, not too long ago, the the last um, uh, Zoom that I did with Latinos in action, um, you know, one of the highlights I had, well, I had a lot of highlights. December was an incredible month, you know, on a personal level, on a, on a work level, um, which is also very personal. Um, um, it was, it's just great to reconnect with uh, friends and family. And, and um, I'm going to admit, I'm always miss the holidays. I'm still, I'm feeling a little nostalgic. Um, I still have some decorations I've got to take down around the the the, uh, the house. I am that guy whose house stays lit like Christmas, you know, well into the new year. And my wife drives, my wife, drives my wife crazy. So <laughs> I get, I'm going to be taking those down soon. But um, I'm sad to see that that leave uh, that part of 2023 leave. But I'm I too like you. I'm very excited about 2024. As I started to say, I interviewed um, somebody uh, the other day on on one of our zooms and. And I want to talk to him and, and find out, you know, why, because he had an incredible growth month. He uh, He's an A12 with us, lives down in a city called Tampico in the state of Tamaulipas, Mexico. His name is Omar. He's an incredible singer. He's really uh, should be a professional singer. I think he's actually put out a couple records. Wow. But um, yeah, yeah, uh, sort of along the lines of Julio Iglesias. He is a, a phenomenal. Um, anyways, he's one of our leaders. He's one of our 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 um, our uh, A12 uh, legacies. And last month, he just he and and some of his brothers and their wives they were working all month long. And the way they worked wasn't you know they weren't they weren't out prospecting on the street or necessarily messaging people every single day. But they made a point to go meet with all members of their teams within driving range. And so. And they said, hey, we want you to put your team together and we're going to have a Christmas party. And they called Posadas in Mexico. And they did that. And throughout the month, they were sending me pictures and videos 
of this road trip they were taking all through the first week, the second week, the third week of December, and then and then closing the month out. And the final result is he has uh, four business centers that are all active. His second business uh, center rank advanced, I think, two ranks last month up to an A10. So now he's an A12 in his first business center, an A10 in his second business center. The average income for an A12 is over 10000 a month. The average income for an A10 is about 5000 a month. And he and his wife, Erica, are just, he shared with us on a Zoom. And this was a real highlight for me um, uh, when I think about this last month was kind of watching watching this take place and kind of uh, unfold. Um, he and his wife were just, they were gushing with joy. They were very, very happy and grateful for actives and grateful for this opportunity and grateful for, you know, their team, frankly. And he expressed a lot of that. And I asked him to share some business tips, you know, as we start this new year, <clears throat> excuse me. And he, um, and he said, you know, I'm just going to do uh, what I did in December. December, I learned how to connect with my team and how to go where they're at and help them invite their friends and, and find out a little bit more about what we're doing here, a little bit more about the epigenetic technology. And that's all I did in December. And he said, and it was a blast. And that's what I'm going to do every month of this year. So I want to share with, add that with everybody at the top of the Zoom because I thought, that was sage advice. I mean, it's simple. It's not complicated. He cares a lot about his people. So that that's the requirement. You got to care about other people and you got to find, find ways to help them reach their goals, help find, uh, find ways to help them get what they want. Um, so I want to you know take my hat off to Omar Pizarro. Great job, buddy. And um, can't wait to see where you get this the, the land this coming uh, year of 2024. Well, now talking about 2024, um, we have lofty goals, David. We doubled the size of our company in 2023. Um, kudos to everybody who's watching this tonight, um, who all played a huge part in that. Not a lot of companies doubled in size um, from one year to the next. And uh, we're very grateful. Um, it, it's exciting to think about 2024 because we have some surprises. We have some things, you know, that we're going to be rolling out this year that are new. that are going to sort of add to the to the robustness of our company. Um, and, uh, um, we've been getting some good news lately about products and countries, and we're not going to say what or where, but, um, great news is, is afoot. And, um, uh, that's what I, you know, one of the things I'm excited about January, but before I, I jump into that, I want to hear what you're particularly excited about this year. Well, you kind of hinted at it a little bit. Um, one of the things, and I'll just let everybody know. Uh, Ryan just celebrated his um, uh, 31st birthday, I think it was, <laughs> earlier this indeed, week. Indeed, thank you. As thank we you. have, and we we uh, serenaded him with a very off-key version of happy birthday in about three different languages, I think, um, and at least that many keys, probably more keys, and uh, and then... Um, uh, and then uh, I won't give this might give it away. So I have to say, so someone on the call put something up that said, happy birthday, Ryan. And at first, like Ryan, we thought maybe it's like a birthday card. But then there was something about it that looked a little official. And we're like, whoa, wait a minute. And I think Ryan and I both had the same thought. Could that be what we think it is? <laughs> and, uh, then he took it off very quickly. And uh, and so then he. You know, he was kind of teasing us and put it back on. And it was a great birthday present for you and a great birthday present for the yeah, company. Yeah. And so that'll be fun to talk about. So we'll, we'll yeah. kind of get everyone's appetite. Coming about soon. And, and there are, there's more of that coming. Things that we've been working on um, for, seriously for years that uh, I believe are going to come to fruition this year, um, both in terms of new, new, com new countries, new markets, new products. As you know, there's a, a type of product that we've been working on, talking about, had various iterations of over the years, but just haven't quite got it yet. We we think we're as close as we've ever been and we're pretty excited. It's not done yet. We still have more to do, but that's that's exciting and that's going to be uh, fun to talk about and, and introduce when the time comes. And so there's so many things, but I, I really do like your story about Omar. Um, I've not heard him sing. I didn't know he was such a great singer. Yeah. So we're going to have a, a celebrity sing-off or something. It'll we got to do it, yeah. Um, yeah. But isn't it interesting that he he defied um, convention and, and grew and did something during a month that people think, oh, you know, December's a write-off. You don't, you don't do it. Yeah. And, yeah. and there's a key there also, in addition to what he was talking about, 
you know, go ahead and defy convention. Go ahead and defy what others who really don't know and have never achieved. I just think one of our resolutions should be don't listen to anyone who has not tried to do what you're trying to do <laughs> right. or has not demonstrated success. I mean, if yeah. you're going to listen to somebody, listen to somebody who's been there, done that. And um, in this case, we have plenty of leaders like that. And it sounds like he was doing exactly what one of the challenges I gave to the to our English speakers on an English update call um, was as a resolution, um, let's make a goal of helping one other person achieve their goals. And uh, and if that's if that's our goal, it sounds like exactly what you're talking about earlier, what you've been talking about for a long time, um, and which really is kind of a mantra of this and really any other effort. If you want to accomplish your goals and achieve your dreams, help other people achieve their dreams. And and uh, and usually it's not anything more complicated than just what you said Omar did, getting out, yeah. taking the time and meeting with them, talking with them and 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 if nothing else, demonstrating that you're going to be there in the fight with them. And um, and I think that it obviously carries a lot of weight. And so as I see, I, I foresee in 2024, more and more people doing exactly what you just talked about Omar doing and 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 seeing remarkable results and surprising themselves and all the doubters um, that with what they're able to achieve. So the, those stories um, and those things to see them unfold, that's what's going to be exciting. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Um, you know, we were uh, this morning also uh, in, 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 in recent days, um, we've been talking about uh, this whole last week about, you know, some of these new initiatives that we, we just rolled out for 2024. And one thing that I'm particularly excited about is our loyalty program. Um, I think um, the loyalty program is going to sort of brand the world actives. Um, we've got some really cool things that we want all of you guys to get. I was just looking at the bag. I don't have, I don't think I have any of the items that we're gonna be giving out and I really want them. Um, but I wanna remind everybody that January is our kickoff month for the loyalty program. So starting this month, um, three months of consistent auto ship, minimum 100 PV. Um, on that third month, you're gonna get a really nice branded, not this, not this, this is, this is, see, this says my name on it. You're not gonna get one with my name on it. You're gonna get a really, really nice um, high quality water bottle, um, not a plastic bottle, one uh, a high quality bottle, similar to the one I just shared. And then and then four or five on that six month, a uh, really nice bag. And then you're gonna get uh, some really great things. Mm -hmm. What I hope we can accomplish in 2024 is that um, at the end of the year, you all earn the pin, the loyalty pin um, that shows that you've been a loyal um, product of the products for an entire year. That That is gonna go um, a, a long ways, not just in improving people's health, but also in branding the world and letting people know, you know, what act is this? Because all of you are going to be carrying our swag, carrying our, our our hats and have our bags and things like that. So I want to remind everybody that that's that that's company, that that's company coming um, and launching this month. Um, another uh, uh, point that I want to just kind of, um, David, you kind of um, tipped your hat a little bit on this, maybe something we're going to be announcing soon when you talked about someone sharing a certain document on one of our Zooms. Um, something else we're talking a lot about, um, and I'm excited for all of you to hear, um, not for me today, but in the in the next month, um, is uh, we have some really cool destinations in the United States for upcoming Momentum Escape trips. Some really cool destinations that I, I'm gonna probably wanna go to these um, because they're, they're places that I've not been to uh, that are in the United States. It's part of our effort to get the United States as a market unto itself to really explode. It's already, um, you know, during 2023, kind of became the fastest growing country in, in all of actives. It's not as big as Mexico, as far as um, um, the size, uh, 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 what, what, uh, what it contributes to actives, but it's growing. And so in an effort to really add fuel to the fire, um, we're going to have some cool venues, some co cool locations for all of you to be able to qualify, to attend, and to get there, to take your significant other, and really just enjoy the fruits of your labor. So um, that's something I'm excited about this next year. But the, the last thing that I want to share is something I think I've shared in January. Every January, um, I kind of go back to the same um, topic when we talk about goals, David, is, you know, we have goals as a company. 
growth goals, um, new product lot, maybe product line expansions, um, you know, uh, bring introducing new technologies in, into the marketplace, adding new incentive programs, things like that, maybe new events. Um, but, you know, all of that is to grow actives and to make this really a vehicle for all of you watching this right now, um, helping actives become the vehicle to really take you to where you want to get with your personal goals, you know, your, the lifestyle that you're trying to achieve. Many of you are building a business. I know many of you here in the United States are doing this on a full-time basis. You're paying your bills with this. Um, in December, I had an opportunity to spend some time at Christina Godoy's house and we got together with a, a, a number of different um, uh, active leaders and distributors throughout the United States. Uh, some of them traveled up from Southern California and it was really, really cool to spend time with, with you all that, that attended that and to, and to hear your stories and to hear how many hours you're putting into this and the ranks that you're achieving and the money that you're earning. It, it's, 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 it's phenomenal. So I can't wait for your stories to be told this year as really leaders and pioneers of the United States. So um, uh, uh, I just I just thought of it. I just remembered that that was that was that was really um, meaningful for me. Um, but where I was going with my comments is goals. Um, guys, I have a tough time with goals. I'm just gonna be honest with you, David. I think that we've talked about this too. We 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 like goals. We like you know revenue goals. But then you know there's kind of a lot a gray area, and you know we 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 tweak things along the way. But but one thing that I've learned, and I, I think David, you would attest to, um, is far better than having a goal is just focusing on having the right habits. Um, and if you have the right habits every day, every week, every month, it, it, coming up with a goal and really having a realistic <clears throat> likelihood of reaching that goal, it really becomes a much more realistic proposition than just writing something down and saying, this, this year I'm going to lose 30 pounds but not planning how you're going to do that, right? Not changing your habits. Or this year, I'm going to run a marathon, but not reverse engineering. Well, what are the habits every day that you're going to do to allow you to run that marathon? Um, and David, that's something you know you know about. So you know something about running marathons. Um, so I just want to close. My, my thoughts are, are just remember to work on your habits. Look at yourself in the mirror. Say, what am I doing? Am I doing the right things every day are my habits such that they will lead me to reaching my goals. Let's not focus so much on the goal. Focus on what your habits are. One of my favorite quotes is we can't decide our futures, right? But we can decide our goals and our goals will decide our future for us. I think it's a great quote. And I would encourage you all to, to write that down and think about it. Anyways, David, uh, to close us out here. What are you excited about the rest of this year? What are you thinking? I'm excited. You know, I was just thinking if you were talking about the, the US market and the Mexican market, you know, they are our two largest markets. But to kind of come full circle and put it in a little bit more perspective for people, what we did in the United States, actually what we did in what the, the company success in Mexico in 2023 by itself was more than we did in all of 20 worldwide in 2022. What we did in the United States in 2023 was almost more than what we did in 2022 worldwide. And so those individual markets themselves were as much as the whole world had been the previous year. And so the reason I bring that up, and you might say, well, why do you keep talking about that? Well, there's some reasons for that. That means when people tell you it doesn't work, they're, they're just wrong. Because guess what? We don't grow unless you grow. That demonstrates that lots of people grew. And so it should add that that little that little feather of faith, that little feather that allowed Dumbo to fly <laughs> and get and remind him that he really could do it, that you can tell yourself that other people can do it or have done it and they've demonstrated. And that kind of goes back to what you were saying, Ryan. You know, whether our goals are exactly right or appropriate or not, is not is like you said, it's not really when I say appropriate, realistic. That's not, the, you know, whether you want to get to be an A6, an A10, an A12, whatever it is in 2024, that's actually not the most important thing. The most important thing is having the process, having the habits that are going to help you to get to A6, A12, wh whatever that is. And the good news is you might say, well, that sounds great, but I don't know what those are. We do. It's called the success guide. Your leader, the leaders do. 
it's called following what they did <laughs> and they will tell you. So you don't have to come up with the process. You don't have to come up with those habits. Now you have to resolve to do them even when it's not fun, even when you, there's things that you'd rather do. But if we can just replace rather do with should do or not even should do, but because that kind of comes, you know, with a lot of guilt, a lot of baggage, right? And that would be good for me to do. And I can tell you what happens, and, and Ryan, you know this, is that the things that weren't that didn't be that weren't fun, that were difficult, that we kind of want to procrastinate, all of a sudden we like them. It's 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 fun. And now we find that it's the thing we'd rather do because it's really productive. And and binge watching Netflix and other things is not anything that we want to do anymore. So so I think that's that's something that's really important for us to to keep in mind. We have a lot of great things to look forward to in, in 2024. Um, there's going to be uh, people on this call tonight that are going to amaze themselves. Even if up to this point you you haven't succeeded, you haven't accomplished the things that you um, have wanted to do, one of the main reasons that the growth of Actives is so important to you at this time is the company has never been better positioned to help you grow, to help you accomplish what you'd like to, to accomplish than it is now. There's never been a better time for you or someone who's just joining the company. Now is a great time to be part of Actives and, and to recommit to doing the things that caused you to join us in the first place. And, um, and there's a lot of good things out there. So on that note, uh, we're gonna be with you every step of the way. Um, 2024, I'm sure, is going to soar by just like 2023 did. We'll be having the same conversation a year from now saying, whoa, that was awesome. Um, but let's let's enjoy the journey along the way. So that's, that's it from, from me today. Ryan, back to you. Okay. No, nope, great. Thank you, David. And everybody, thank you so much for joining. Um, have, a, hope you have a happy 2024. Um, like David said, we'll be with you every step of the way. And, and those are really, it's a really true statement. You know, I look forward to meeting many of you who, I haven't met yet and working with you and um, really um, uh, engaging with you as you grow your business. So um, don't forget that this is the last month, January, to qualify for the Momentum Escape. I know that this last weekend, a lot of you were in Park City and I uh, hope you had a great time in Park City, Utah. And um, guys, we'll see you very soon. See you February 15th, same time, same place. Let's have a great year together and we'll see you all at the top. Take care. Mm -hmm.